Now, Kenny Pickett, they're going to delude themselves into thinking they have the guy. They're the only team with a winning record in league history that's been outgained eight straight weeks with those receivers, those backs. But that defense is you know, borderline championship worthy, competitive defense that can take you on a run, right? But offensively, obviously you move the offensive coordinator down to the sideline. It just looks off. They've scored over 25 points this season one time. It's Kenny Pickett that I got questions about. It's their offense overall led by Matt Canada. I've got questions about, and this is why I'm going to sit up there and say for the moment they're pretending. The Pittsburgh Steelers just pulled off a 2016 victory against the Tennessee Titans on Thursday Night Football, putting them at a 5-3 season record. But pause, guys. We got some drama unfolding. George Pickens, only two catches and a negative receiving yard. Despite the W, it's not looking good. Not celebrating with Deontay Johnson, who just scored a touchdown after a three-year dry spell. Instead, Pickens is looking salty on the bench and it doesn't stop there we're just one day removed the pittsburgh steelers fans can't even celebrate because pickens put up on instagram free me and wipes his account clean of anything steelers he unfollowed kenny pickett unfollowed coach tomlin and the steelers main account and i just had to do some fact checking this actually happened i was on twitter and it's confirmed. It's it's crazy, but it's confirmed. This is bigger than just a win. Like I said, we're at five and three. And why is there drama? Like you're five and three. And we've seen it, guys. I'm so sorry, Steelers fans. Like we've seen Antonio Brown, Juju Smith Schuster, Chase Claypool. Like the Steelers Diva saga just continues, man. It just continues. Now I get it, guys. George Pickens, he's got the skills. Second round talent, probably a first round talent, honestly. And you know frustration is part of the game in the nfl but like i said like you're five and three coming off a of victory you're winning you're you're in contention of getting into the playoffs and at the end of the day you're playing for the pittsburgh steelers like this isn't the las vegas raiders we're talking about here and before we dive deeper into the steelers situation let me get something straight guys i was eyeing this team as a playoff team this year we're talking about the afc north the number one division in football better than the afc east i went on here about august July area and I said yo this AFC North is going to be up for grabs we're seeing a brawl between the Ravens Bengals and Browns and sure this team it might muscle its way through the playoffs just like they have in the past couple of years but what is it if you get a seven seed and you have to go the likes against the Miami Dolphins or the Kansas City Chiefs or the Baltimore Ravens and you have to play away throughout the postseason sure like this defense can carry you but we have some glaring offensive issues guys and the media I know they're they're bringing it to you today I mean there there's some truth here guys we're talking about keeping up with the pace with sharpshooters like Joe Burrow the firepower like I said the offense of the Miami Dolphins they're averaging 32 points per game that's the million dollar question I have for y'all and let me ask Steelers fans Matt Canada he's been your offensive coordinator for three years now why is he just now coming down to the field during the game I'm scratching my head Please fill me in on this puzzle because I am confused. And is it just so that he can be closer to the team? I, I don't really know. I would have had Matt Canada gone by now. I'm sure a lot of y'all in the comments would agree. And it's clear as day to me. The offense needs a shakeup. This team is averaging 16 points per game. But why are they averaging six points per game, guys? You got Deontay Johnson, George Pickens, Najee Harris, Jalen Warren. The running game against the Titans, 160 rushing yards. You got Pat Fryermuth. You drafted Darnell Washington with this offensive arsenal. There's zero excuses to why the offense is not putting up numbers. And I know I might catch some heat from the Steelers faithful guys. We got to talk about the elephant in the room here. Quarterback Kenny Pickett. This guy is supposed to be your future quarterback. He's 25 years old. He dueled against QB Will Levis on the Titans and... I really think Levis had the hand here. And we're talking about a 13 to 13 touchdown to interception ratio throughout his entire career. It's not cutting it with these offensive players. And then, like I said, 25 years old, Kenny Pickett, he's, he's coming from college to where 
He's been like a four-year starter. You should hit the ground running. Is this all on Matt Canada? Is this on Kenny Pickett? Let me know what y'all think. Once again, let's not forget, Kenny Pickett is a first-round draft pick. And I said it, I've been saying it, but that QB class was not strong. Kenny Pickett, if he was coming into this draft class right now, he would not even, I don't even think he would be a top 10 quarterback. He went against quarterbacks like Malik Willis, hasn't done anything in the NFL. Desmond Ritter just got benched. Matt Corral, where are you? I don't know where Matt Corral is. I know Brock Purdy went to the 49ers. And then and then let's even compare him to a guy like Sam Howell. And he's over with the commanders and he's really making strides. And I know Eric bien is his offensive coordinator and that might be the issue. You got Eric bien against Canada. I'll just say this. If it were up to me, I think I would take Sam Howell over Kenny Pickett. I, I would assume y'all would think the same. I, I don't know. We're not talking about Kenny Pickett's job right now. He's still got some time. Time, but this offense, this coach and Mike Tomlin, this roster, they're built with a Super Bowl in mind. They are packed with athletes. I'm leaving it up to y'all guys. What is wrong with this offense? What is it? You tell me. I'm just, I'm an outside looking in fan. I'm not a fan of the, of the Pittsburgh Steelers. But like I said, I did think y'all were going to make the playoffs this year. I was hype on y'all. But this offense is bottom five offense in the NFL. Is it Matt Canada? Is it the offensive line not holding up? Is it Kenny Pickett? I I, I don't get it. And then you got the high caliber George Pickens hitting the unfollow button on Instagram. I got to hear y'all's uh, George Pickens takes because I know the Pittsburgh fans love George Pickens, but I've always had my question marks on him. Personally, I've always led more towards Deontay Johnson, a guy I picked up in two of three of my fantasy leagues. That guy in my book is one of the most slept on wide receivers in the NFL definition of reliable let's talk about the AFC top tier NFL quarterbacks we're talking about Joe Burrow Lamar Jackson Deshaun Watson right in the AFC North and then on the outskirts you got Trevor Lawrence Josh Allen CJ Stroud Justin Herbert Aaron Rodgers and then you got Kenny Pickett I don't see the same talent and I I don't know why they picked him in the first round I don't see him as first round material I I really do love Kenny Pickett I love him as a person as a player he's got that Pittsburgh grit to him but at the end of the day can you go toe-to-toe with QBs like this across your division I I don't know the offense is struggling to do right by the Steelers defense a defense that is top 10 top 5 you got Alex Highsmith you got what and then you got Joey Porter Jr. is even proving himself you got a steal y'all were a plus in the draft trading Chase Claypool for Joey Porter Jr. we are seeing a team that averaging 16.6 points per game and that is 29th in the NFL only tailing teams like the New York Giants the Patriots and the Raiders this is alarming to me the Raiders just fired everyone on their team the Giants have been a laughing stock the Patriots have been a laughing stock I, I just need to see more we're halfway to the finish line guys the Steelers are sitting at five and three playoff talks are in the air but I'm just not feeling the upside with this team so let me know what y'all think Steelers Nation what moves are you making are you firing Matt Canada I don't know if this is a hot take but are you looking at the quarterback class of 2024 or maybe you make a move on a veteran like Kirk Cousins I'm not sure y'all probably won't like that but let me know y'all know more than me but as always thanks for tuning in to Real Friends in Football and don't forget to subscribe for more videos just like this.